here very very important what's the difference between call transaction and session method right it is suitable for a small amount of data call transaction right and it is good for large amount of data why because error handling is very easy call transaction it's a very fast why if you use asynchronous mode it will support the parallel update it is going to be faster the session method is comparatively slow why it is always running synchronous mode error handling is difficult why every time if you get some error you have to correct your file and remove the process data and execute the program but here error handling is going to be easy why when you get any error you can manually correct that error by running in foreground and correct and bend and again execute in program so that's the beauty of this session method right two running mode synchronous and asynchronous here you will be having only the synchronous mode right fifth here you don't have to go to any other t code to process the recorded session you need to go to the sm35 or you'll have to create one batch job right which will execute your session so either one extra background uh, batch job you need to create but here you don't require any another job or something like that so either you go to sm34 or create one uh, there is one program uh, later i have written somewhere that program you can schedule in the background and that will automatically you know execute your session so that can also be done the sixth point no need to open any session sixth here need to open the session using vdc open group fm this 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 right so here you have to use this vdc open group vdc insert and vdc close in order to create the session here you don't require you don't require you don't require any session to be open or any session to be uh you know close 